Good afternoon and thank you for tuning in to another Pineapple Vites video training session. In this video training session we're going to review how to make price changes in your Aloha point of sale system. There's two different ways to make price changes in Aloha. The first way is called item level pricing. The second way is called button level pricing. In this instance I'm going to show you how to identify which pricing each of your items is using and how to make a price change with both of those different options. First thing we're going to do is log into Aloha Manager. We're going to want to go to Maintenance, Menu, Submenus. The reason we're doing this is that we want to be able to go and find the actual button of the item that we're looking to change the price on and determine what type of pricing method that that current item is using. In this instance, we're going to go ahead and identify what pricing method our muscles button is using. I know my muscles resides on my submenu called apps, so I'm going to click my app submenu and then hit my layout tab. Here I can see that this is my Muscles button. If I just click on the Muscles button itself, it turns gray. On the right-hand side, I'm going to see the price method is set to button price. So if, if it's ever set to button price, you have to put in your price right here. So you'd manually type in that new price and go ahead and hit Save. Then you'd have to do a Utilities POS and Refresh POS and all installed products and go ahead and send that refresh data to the front of host terminals so that they'll pick up on the new price change. If, for instance, let's say that if we click on another one of our buttons here and this particular button is using the pricing method called item price, you'll notice that the default price listed underneath is grayed out. We're unable to change the actual price in this field because it's using the price that is associated to the item itself. So to make this price change, let's say for instance we want to change the price of soup from $7 to $7.50, we need to actually go to the soup item itself. So to do that, we can see here that the soup item is number 1111. So if we go to Maintenance, Menu, Items, We hit our drop down here at the top. We go down and find that soup. So we know it was 1111. Highlight soup. Go ahead and hit the pricing tab at the top. And our default price is listed right here. So to change this price, we can now put in our new price and hit save. And if you have real time updates enabled, you can go ahead and hit yes. The advantage of using item level pricing compared to button level pricing is that when you make a price change on the actual item itself, you can use real-time updates, which will automatically send the price change to the front of host terminals right away without the need of doing a full refresh data. So now, just to verify that that price has changed, if we go back to our submenu, maintenance, menu, submenus, if we click on soup now, you can see that that price was changed from $7 to $7.50. So those are the two different ways you can make price changes in your Aloha point of sale, depending on the pricing method of each item that you're looking to change. If you're using item price on the button itself, then you'll want to make the price change on the actual item itself under the pricing tab. If the actual item that you're looking to change the price in is using a pricing method of button price, then you change the price of the actual item right on the button itself in submenu maintenance. Hopefully everything that I showed you today will assist you in making price changes in your Aloha point of sale moving forward. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.